Do you worship money? And I say this because a lot of times people are like, no, I don't worship money. No, they don't run me. Money don't run my life. But however, a lot of times we are, quote unquote, chasing the bag. Are you worshiping the bag when you're chasing Ooh, it? We. What do you think? Hey, that's a good question. Yeah. And uh, I would say money worship. Okay. According to the definition that I ah, okay. got, okay, okay. it says <laughs> money worship is a type of money disorder that involves believing that having more money will lead to greater happiness in life, mm. especially in the afterlife. If you take it back to the days of the pyramids and these kings and pharaohs would be buried with servants and a lot of their riches for the afterlife. Uh, so which is not people, which is nothing true, yep. but taking it 2024, you said something about chasing a bag. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think that it involves money worship, but we know, uh, we need money. You need money uh, in this world to pay bills, to do different things. You need money. So doing the overtime usually is for some type of goal that you might have set. You're going to redo the kitchen. You're going to go on this trip. So we're doing overtime, not necessarily chasing the money, but we need more money because that's how it works because we're not going to be like, well, no well, let, well, my pushback to that. Okay. Go. Are you saying that you need more money to do these different things? Yes. Do you think it'll, it'll turn you to where you obsess with doing these new things? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say you may need new flooring in your kitchen. Yes. You may need to get your house repainted. Yes. You may want to to outfit your new bathroom. You may want a new car. You may want all these other things. You don't necessarily need it, but your needs become your wants become your needs. And, and that's you, become worshiping. I like how you congregation, did you see what he did? <laughs> he started putting that emphasis. We might have a preacher in this boy. I don't know. Negative, but uh negative. with that want, when mm -hmm. he started saying want. So those are wants not need and then we do get like that once we start experiencing or even sometimes seeing what the joneses have mm -hmm. man i can do that i can get that car or whatever they're not better than me but then your pride done jumped in there so now we know we need more money you don't need it. You want more money. To yes, be like them. we want more money. Look at that, Roger. That. Yeah, yeah. You but, want more money to be like someone else. But I, I will say this: How does that bring you happiness to be like someone else? Well, I will say this, and I'm not saying, and we don't heard that old saying: "Money can't buy you happiness." No, it can't. Man, money can make you happy a little bit. Okay, you think so? Uh, yeah, I think so. When you get okay, yes, okay. Yes, so we, are you are you shooting for happiness with this money? Because remember, mm. happiness is a roller coaster. It remember, is. I always it is. say it that. Is. I yes, always yes. say you can be on a high and then you can be on a low. Yes. So things can happen, you know, to make you on, get you on a high, but then things can happen that can bring you down low. So you're chasing happiness. You'll never be happy in life. Well, I, I'll say this, and and I, this y'all can con convict me and go against me on this one, uh, saying um, money can't buy bring you happiness or buy you happiness. It can put a smile on your face. It can make you feel better. Even for? look, 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 smile. look. We're not talking about in the long run, Kane. Okay, we're not free. talking about in the long run because everybody, everybody is not on the, I would say, same financial playing field. You know, you live within your means, but if you want to, just do something else. Want do to. something else. Yes, you want to, because I will say this, and I've been trying to encourage people to do something out of the norm. Don't stay in your small town. Okay. Do something. That is going to require a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, but it will require some money. So if you're just working, you're just working your job, 
day in, day out, 365 days a year, you do need a break to do something. You should, you deserve, I will say that, you deserve some type of vacation because you need to broaden your horizons and see other things. Okay. And you need money. Kane, is that money worshiping? No. I, I, I'm not that. saying is that be, be, because think about this. Uh, just like I mentioned earlier about the the worshiping and wanting things. You, If you want something for yourself, yes, you want something better for yourself, I see nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. If you want something better for your family, I see nothing wrong with it. But if you want it, just because somebody else has it, mm. then yeah, you in the wrong uh, ball field. Guaranteed, yes, you'll probably achieve it, but then you'll want for something else. And you'll continue to want for something else. When does it end? You don't even know where you lie in the whole picture. I don't think you do. I think you just, you're just uh, playing this role, playing that role, being like that person, being like that person. You don't even know your own self. Yeah. How about you sit back and look back and check out your own self? See what you need. Once you figure out what you need, then you can figure out what your family needs. I think it needs to go in that order anyway, because you can't help somebody that you ain't help yourself first. Woo, you saying it. Yeah. And I, I was I wanted to add this, you know. Because the the chasing of the bag, mm -hmm. money, 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 it's done been some of the richest people in the world. And you would think their life is on the cloud, but they've still deleted themselves. We still found yeah. out they had so many yes. problems, drug addicts, yes. all of these things that that's just happened and they what have the so much money. Think about this. I think the reason why a lot of those individuals, those celebrities and things of that nature, they go through these spells of being depressed and all this, it's because, for one, they probably have done it all that they wanted to do, you yeah. know, travel, seeing different things that normal people wouldn't see. And then it comes to a point where they're dibbling and dabbling in other things. Come on. Because they the, the appeal doesn't intrigue them anymore because they have done everything so they start stepping down really they really stepping down and, and indulging in you know uh, uh recreational drugs and things of that nature and then that's what gets them on going crazy depravity wants yeah. to, wants to you know unalive themselves because of that and to me you should not want that for yourself okay a lot of people like like you like you mentioned there's a lot of people that have money and they just give it out Give it away. Hey, just uh, just give it to this person. Give it to that person. Whatever you know that fit that fills their ego, and they don't feel like they need to be in a certain status or uh, have a certain amount of money to be, you know, um, uh, on on a day to day basis. They don't necessarily need that. So that's what I think. Congregation, I haven't mm. even asked y'all nothing. Come on, but but look, congregation, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. What do y'all think about worshiping money? Mm. What do y'all do? You think that you do you worship money? Are you trying to get the bag? Are you chasing the bag? Is it worth chasing the bag? And if you already at that bag, whatever that bag may be, is it was it worth it? Was it worth it? Now I, I get it. We're gonna have some people in the comments. This generational wealth. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. But a lot of people are not on that same pace. Are mm. not on that same glide path. I, I think, think it's uh, the money. <laughs> and if I you think, if you can't even put it together and manage your money, then making it, 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 it that's the least of your worries. Well, Kane, I do have a saying that I believe by. You can give a person, any person, a uh, million dollars if they're not educated. That money will go away very, very swiftly. Yeah. So, you know, that's when that financial planning and all of those things. But when you said, uh, do we worship money? I know it'll be some people in the chat, and I will say this too. 
that'll be of the devil man if you worshiping money if that's your only cause to keep uh-huh. going and keep going you know now you know we see that all these different people now you know it used to be a thing you you wanted to be a millionaire and now you hear more and more people that's millionaire now the big goal is the billionaire i'm part of the billionaire club you know how far will they continue to strive is it ambition is it the the worship of money what is it or are they just people that works hard and want to keep attaining or keep ascending to greatness you know but greatness is in the eyes of beholder mm, so if their true. greatness is at a billion then that's their greatness but overall i think you have to determine what your goal is and how to achieve the goal and is the goal worth it because mm. a lot of times people do things and they don't even think about why they're actually doing it or they generalize it oh, i'm just doing this because they want to make, make sure my kids have something to eat when i pass or whatever well have a plan mm, put it together right. put it together correctly put a trust together if you're going to do that but a lot of people are not going to look it up. They're not going to look up what a trust is and put it together. You just think just because you got this this uh, uh, life insurance policy and that that's going to be generational wealth. No. You don't even know how it's going to be dispersed when you pass. Yeah. So put it together. Put it together. Have it staggered throughout the years for your grandkids and their grandkids. That's how you do it. All right. And you create that. That's what the that's what all these other million billionaire uh walt disney walmart whatever man they they all did the same exact thing that's why it's still running to this day you know that's how you got to look at it congregation what do y'all think are we, are we talking crazy you mm-hmm. like i gotta get the bag no matter what whatever whatever it um, takes i need the almighty dollar no, i yeah, need you, the hey, almighty hey, dollar come hey. on <laughs> Look, look, I, I I suggest you not to worship money mm-hmm. and ask God for money, but just let God lead you to where the money Ooh. is. Nobody mm-hmm. will never say this because God will do that. But it's on you to be in the present and let him guide you. <laughs> Kane, I got to say this since you brought Go it ahead. up. Hey, what is it called? What is it called? It's thought with a B. Come on. Oh, what do you mean? What do you the mean? The blessing, brother. Uh, he will bless you. Let's go. Come on. Let's it's go. A it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Everything's That's a blessing. My... Yes. According to Let's... Mitch, everything's a blessing, Let's no go. matter what. <laughs> well, however you look at it, it's how you choose to. But y'all let us know how y'all feel about it in the uh, comments, man. We'll respond back to you. Hit us with a super chat or anything. We'll shout you out on the next one. Even on yeah. a live, man, we got you, man, for sure. Uh, anything else for him, Mitch? No, we're gonna. No. We're not gonna pray. We don't pray and worship money on an uncomfortable truth, but we accept <laughs> the blessings. Okay, Roger that. There Let's you go. go. There you go. And that's an uncomfortable truth. Hey, baby, do some <laughs> for y'all. <laughs>